Okay, hey everybody on YouTube, this is um, a quick insight into my balmy world and um, just to let you know what I'm doing, what I hope to be doing in the future and uh, <laughs> what uh, stupid things I get up to in, in my time. Right, as those of you who probably don't know me, um, I'm a singer-songwriter, I'm also absolutely mad on remote control planes and cars and helis. Right, first of all is my ovation, my beloved ovation and my rack system which is a bit of a mess at the minute but um, it's going to get in there and here underneath all my junk is my AW16 um, which I'm doing a lot of my stuff on at the moment and uh, it's donkey's years old but it does the job. Right up here is, this is one of the first builds I did um, this is my F15, it's made out of Depron flat sheet. Um, it flies quite well actually, it's on a 1000 kV outrunner. Um, it's a bit tatty now because I've had it for donkey's years, but it, again it flies and I love it. And then right next to it is the absolute beast of a plane, this is the Nemesis. Uh, this is done by uh, the World Models, I can't get it all in at the minute. Um, if I do that, I probably can. And then next to that is the Venus. This is a Tech One, I believe it is Tech One Venus. Um, lovely little plane. It's a bit light for, you know, anything over about three, four mile an hour wind. I mean, being the idiot that I am, I I still fly it. Right, and then up here we've got. Um, this is my Franken car. This is a. A mix between a Kyosho Ultima and Optima and I can't forget what the other one is but I built it basically for the kids because um, you just can't smash the thing up it's amazing um, little blade CX and that's Logan's little helicopter there Any little that's it uh, this is a, a Tamiya QD uh, there is another one as well uh, that was me um, MR4BC um, which are Super Dog Fighter 2 which is what I used to race with this is actually a vintage one that my Uncle Mickey gave me um, they're worth a fortune actually but I don't, it's one I'll never sell anyway I mean, it's a beautiful bit of kit it's actually in mint condition it's from the 80s uh, up here we have that's my Nitro uh, Kyosho Pure Town this is my drift, my main drift car, which is the Peugeot 306. This has got like mega mega upgrades on it. It's got virtually every upgrade you can think of. And then next to that, a uh, little Tamiya Jeep. There's the other QD up there, which is the Mercedes. That's a Kyosho Rav4. It's um, <coughs> I can't remember what the model is under there. Excuse me. A um, couple of my controllers. Here's me, what I call my serious cars down here. Uh, that's my drift practice car, which is a, a Tamiya TT01. That is the um, Subaru, which was built up out of the kits, if anybody remembers them. Used to get them in the magazines, and then, uh, you know, they'd uh, you build it weekly. I can't remember who did Oh, it's Diagostini, that's right. That one is a Tamiya FF03 I believe but that's the Le Mans version very fast uh, it's got its original motor in it again very quick this is my bodged up version of uh, Sand Scorcher it's not a Sand Scorcher as most of you probably know um, but I just wanted something that looked like one so I bought one of them cheap bodies you have to cut all the windows out and everything um, but I like it it's cool pretty quick as well. I run it on a LiPo, I know you shouldn't but there you go. Right, I'm just going to click now and then we'll be outside and I'll show you my solar setup. Okay guys, we're outside now and it's, just, it's part of my solar setup here. Um, I've got um, 720 watts of solar panels at the moment, I want to expand on that. Now if you look up there that's my um, vertical axis wind turbine. It's made myself out of uh, Depron, um, but it does the job. And obviously, I'm very windy today, so excuse the mess. And we'll go inside here, and so as you can see, 
more models. I won't go through all of them because you'll be uh, there all bloody day otherwise. Right, these are just ones that are in progress at the moment. There's the wing down there for my uh, lovely triplane. There's a sky bolt there. There's something else I wanted to show you, something else I'm into, and if any of you know anything about it, if you just look down there, I've got two um, hydrogen cells. I did run my Cherokee Jeep off this off this one. Um, I've now got a different Cherokee Jeep, and I haven't got around to doing it yet. But um, it will be done soon, and uh, hopefully I can post you some details on that one. All right. As I say, excuse the mess, and I'll show you a bit more about the uh, solar setup. As I say, the whole reason for this video is a bit of an introduction for me to YouTube and videoing, and a bit of an introduction to you into my crazy world. Right, so let's turn some lights on in here. Um, right, um, there's my monster truck. I'll quickly show you what I'm working on at the moment because this is where I do most of my building. I actually built this room on the side of the house as well. Um, if you look up there, I've got a, an Excite wing which I fly a lot. It's a multiplex twin jet that I've converted to a monojet. That's um, it's a VFR. Uh, Father in law bought it. Um, we, I'm going to get that going for the winter actually. It's got a OS Max. Uh, 46 engine on it, uh, it's all running and sort of a little fly car GWS um, A4, that's great fun. There's my trusty old, um, it's a Hangar 9 Cherokee. This one I've only just bought, it's a Hummer, uh, great fun, brilliant for practicing manoeuvres, which is the reason I bought it. Hobby King Bixler, there's the wings up there for the Bixler and the um, glider. There's my glider, again that's to be tested and for those of you who want to know what I'm getting into at the minute, it's these little puppies, uh, quads. I've gone mad on quads and T-copters and I will be doing some flying footage as well. There's my big foamy. Um, this is actually a, a APP foamy quad which I got off Hobby King. It's dirt cheap. It's twenty-two dollars, I think, for the kit, and then um, we just built stuff on top of it, make it a bit better. Right, the first telly is my um, Kyosho Ergo Thirty, Hobby King Six Hundred, uh, Kyosho Caliber Thirty, original, and then that's one next to it, which is just my spares. Um, not down here, bit of a mess, but this is the um, wind turbine I'm working on at the moment. Uh, it's a bit of a beast. And there's the, my pit special I'm working on at the moment. Next to that is my pride of my fleet. That's me, um, the triplane. Again, father-in-law bought me that one. And a stamp here. I believe it's the president kit. Um, again, um, waiting to get an engine in that. So let's go back to the solar setup. Right, this is my bank of batteries here. I've got 20 77 amp hour batteries all linked in parallel because I'm doing a 12 volt system setup. Um, right here, these two inverters. This one is a um, 3000 uh, watt power inverter which we got off a guy called company and it's called Booyaka um, so we're just testing them for him and I can tell you for a fact that they are fantastic this one's been running constantly since I think March yeah March and it's running the freezer so it's running a pretty big freezer um, and it runs the TV units and it should be doing the lights soon as well these are my charge, the solar charge. I've got four of them because I've split it up into banks, which I find better. Uh, but again, you know, each their own. And then I've just got um, a voltmeter. I don't know if you can see that very clearly on there. They're pulling 
it's well over 12 volts which is a real crappy day today so if you look I, mean, I think I'm only getting one amp um, but that's off each bank so I'm four amps total at the moment um, but that's enough it's enough to charge these batteries and keep it all running and then up here this is for the wind turbine which has to go I've got it on two fuses I've got it to a 30 amp fuse up here whoops lights just gone off to a relay then to a 100 amp fuse so we don't get any um, back issues I've earthed everything uh, that's going to a ground spike down there and what I've also done is I've put in another fuse board and that goes off to each of the uh, solar panels and I find that I've, I just think it's all about safety so what I do is I'm using the actual wiring in the house so eventually it will go from here into the RCD board and then off to the different um, circuits in the house so when I flick off a circuit on the, the RCD that's in the house I will then come and flick it on to solar and do it in sections like that and that works well for me so there you go that's a quick look around um, at what I'm doing and there will be some music videos coming up I might be recording one today uh, if any of you got any questions please um, ask away about any of the things I'm working on um, the site is mad I'm into everything at the moment so that's Sparky Say hello Sparky um, so yeah please uh, click ask, ask any questions you want to ask I don't mind comments I love to have comments um, oh yeah there's my helicopter as well from the FPV um, if you really want to badmouth me you can I don't care haters you know bring it on um, as I say this is all about cars guitars planes and solar so um, hopefully you enjoy the video uh, welcome to my crazy world and uh, I'll talk to you all soon please ask questions and there should be another video up soon and the next one will be me uh, doing a Jesse J song I think okay so thanks again guys um, subscribe if you want to and please leave questions thank you very much and goodbye